Hi there. I'd like to talk to you about scientists. Any sci-fi aficionado will know how to spot a scientist. They look like this, or this, or even this. And they spend their days doing things like this, or this. But have you ever wondered what a real scientist looks like? Well, today I'd like to introduce you to six of them. They are Roberto, Antonia, Pedro, Mafalda, Jovin, and I'm Anna. We're all students from the International Neuroscience Doctoral Program, which is a PhD program from the Champalamo Foundation in Lisbon, Portugal. We students decided to make a video to tell you a little bit more about ourselves and about the program. So what type of people go and do a PhD in neuroscience? You might be surprised to know that neuroscience is a very diverse field. We have students from mathematics, from biology, genetics, psychology, even engineering. But what brings us together is a desire to work on really interesting, meaningful topics, which are going to have a significant impact on our lives. And of course, to learn more about that most enigmatic of organs, the brain. I intend to study how the genetic background and early life experience determine or influences how individuals behave differently within the same context. I'm interested in how the cerebellum uses sensor motor signals to coordinate body parts of our life. I'm trying to understand what's different in the brain when we do something habitual versus something goal directed. So I'm basically studying how the expression of the neuronal genome changes with learning in specific parts of the brain. I'm interested in decision making and deliberation, in particular in how much we can learn about the decision process by closely watching behavior. And I myself work on plasticity, that is how neurons change in response to activity. How do I do that? Well, I have a microscope that allows me to visualize individual neurons, so then I can apply different types of activity to them and see how they change. As you can see, although we have big questions, we have to break them down in order to be able to answer them in the lab. But science is a very creative process, and so there's a lot of room for developing ingenious technologies or really innovative techniques to allow us to address the questions we have. I use larval zebrafish and study their behavior under different environmental conditions. I'm using a combination of video techniques to record motor patterns as mice balance, and I'm also using genetic manipulations to inactivate and activate different parts of the cerebellum as the mice do their balancing tasks. I use both optogenetics and behavioral tasks. I teach mice to press a lever to receive either a food reward or a stimulation in a specific part of the brain, the amygdala. So I manipulate specific neuronal circuits inside the mouse brain and then analyze which proteins are interacting with the DNA. We ask human subjects to solve a simple auditory task while measuring many behavioral outputs, such as arm movements, eye movements, and pupil dilation, and muscle activity. So now I have some questions for you. Do you enjoy learning new things? When you join the International Neuroscience Doctoral Program, the first year is dedicated to learning the basics. Do you enjoy working with people? Research is not something which is done in a dark room in isolation, at least not most of the time. Are you creative? Research requires much more ingenuity and improvisation than most people realize. The most important question is, are you a daring person? 
not afraid to challenge your fundamental assumptions and try something new. And wouldn't you want to work in a beautiful city and in a brand new top research institute? If your answer to my questions is yes, then you sound like you're the type of person who would like to join us in the INDP and dive with us deep into the unknown. So what are you waiting for? Apply now.